Ubisoft CEO had a recent comment over the past <laughs> week, and uh, and 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 we have to talk about it. So. Ubisoft CEO said that he blames us, the gamers, for the poor sales of out of Star Wars Outlaws. If you could see the chat, so the, the guy on your screen over there, uh, nice guy with the fucking fingers on his head looking like a fucking asshole. That's the CEO of Ubisoft. <laughs> um, you could see the chart on the fucking right. That is Ubisoft's uh, stock since the year 2020. You could see what direction that bitch is heading. <laughs> it, it, it made a steep downwards fucking curve <laughs> the, the past three years so this gentleman i don't know his name i apologize but he came out this past week and said that he blames gamers because they quote unquote expect too much out of these video games let me explain something to you right now mr ceo of ubisoft whose name i don't know you uh, evis Guillemot. Yeah, that. Drink. Let me explain. Let me explain something to you. You are a complete fucking asshole. Because the fact of the matter is, I and I want to clarify this because I brought stats to back up what I'm about to say right now. <clears throat> God damn! I already did a fucking book report. I like you. Ubi Ubisoft <laughs> spent six hundred and fifty to eight hundred and fifty million dollars on this game. Skull and Bones, which is supposed to be a quadruple A game that never hit a million pl players playing at the same point in time. 850,000 people have played since the large launch in February. There's no way to know how much money they made off the game, but they didn't even come close to half of what they spent making this fucking game. Marketing was bad. And then on top of that, the game played like shit. The first week of launch. It had bugs. It had oh, yeah. issues. Told, yeah. It had fucking yeah. things going on with it. Two. <clears throat> Star Wars Outlaws. You see these bundles over here that we always love to talk about? How these games do this now? $70 buys you the base edition, etc. $100 buys you the, the gold. The Ultimate's $129. And then the lovely company that is Ubisoft says, But I tell you what. If you just pay us $20 a month, you can play all the fucking games you want for just $20 a month. Anybody want to do math on what $20 a month you pay to Ubisoft? Ubisoft, sorry, fucking is a year. Anybody want to do fucking math real quick on what $20 a month costs you for a year? $240? Yeah. So you can play unlimited games with Ubisoft if you just buy the Ubisoft Plus bundle, right? Okay, great. Let me explain to you something about Star Wars Outlaws. For $130, you got three days early access. Do you know the first fucking four days that the game was out? It had a game failing glitch that literally people couldn't play. So people who paid an extra $50 to play the game early couldn't access the fucking game early. Literally couldn't access the game early. Had no access to the game. It had a game breaking glitch that kicked people out and reset all their progress from the three days prior. Damn. But you want to blame the gamers for not supporting the fucking product. Okay. I got you, sir. No problem. It's our fault that you make shit products and then upcharge us by more than 50% of what games used to cost. Games used to cost 40, 50 bucks. Now, yep. if you want a premium edition, it costs you at least a hundred dollars. In this case, 130. And you're blaming us because we expect more quality. If you want to charge me double or double in some time, I need a quality product. Sorry. That's fucking reality, dude. Like, you're so out of fucking touch with what reality is, it's unreal to me. And then you sit here and blame us for wanting quality in our fucking products. I will not be buying another Ubisoft game ever, and I hope the fucking company tanks, just based off that statement alone. Assassin's Creed, that got delayed until fucking January of next year, February of next year, not fucking buying it. I'm, I refuse. I will not give that asshole money after that statement because now I'm convinced the reason why the game got delayed was more so because it wasn't ready to fucking launch and it was going to fucking break and people paid $130 to pre-order it already. And I'm out. And they didn't give nobody a refund either. Nope. I am. I'm out. Ubisoft can kick rocks with open-toed Jesus sandals. Damn. Don't fucking talk to me, bro. Shit. As, as a gamer, I will no longer support you as a company. You will not get my money for Assassin's Creed. You will not get my money for any game that you put out over the course of... I hope that your company fails and you have to sell it to somebody. Damn. That's Tell what I hope happens. Tell That's what I mad. hope happens. You're going to blame us because your product is shit. 
That's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let me know how it fucking works out for you. Dude, the board the board alone <laughs> is gonna fucking kick him out of the fucking CEO seat. Yeah, you see where alone... this you you see where the stock number is at? It ain't much left in this fucking graph. <laughs> that shit's done so. That's done, bro. They're they're <laughs> done. This shit is sold. It's selling to another company. No Why other fucking way. Fucking yeah, cause you be soft, Evis. That, like, that, that, yeah. Don't blame the consumer because you make a shit product. That's insanity. You're never winning that argument, bro. And How? You, like, like you, come I on, man. I pay you hundred and something dollars, and I don't even get a statue. Fuck out of here. Nope. Hundred thirty dollars just gets you. It gets you what I showed you over here. Three days early access, a season pass, a little, a couple little bundles, and a digital art book. They ain't get you shit. Hundred thirty dollars ain't get you shit. Not a fucking Wait, a thing. Digital so, art book, not even a fucking real art book. A digital art book, so you get to look at it on your computer screen. Hundred thirty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man cave, we need an art book. <laughs> we need Sorry, man. Book. If there's a company who's doing it worse, tell me, because I don't fucking know. These guys are so out of touch, bro. At least when I bought the spec like, I have my rants about Sony and, and freaking um Insomniac for what they've been doing with Spider-Man. But at least when I paid the hundred and thirty dollars, hundred and fifty dollars, whatever it was for the fucking deluxe edition, I got a fucking statue. And I got a big box full of goodies that I get to fucking put up on my mantle. You know what I'm saying? And I got early access. And I got bonus stuff for the game. And I got physical goods along with my fucking game that I got to play. But with Ubisoft, you get a digital art book and some fucking cosmetics that make your gun go pew pew brighter. What the fuck, man? I don't need that shit. $130. Oh, and by the way, the three, like I said earlier, the three days early access, you had to reset your progress three days later anyway because it was a game breaking glitch. What'd you really get for your extra money? What'd you get? <laughs> Come on, man. Let's, 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 let's just, it's crazy. It's crazy. In the bro. world like, of video game and streaming, <laughs> the consumer has direct access to every gamer on the fucking planet yep. with this thing called the internet. We know if the gamers are telling you this is shit, this is breaking, this is off, the color is off, the fucking the, the, the game um fucking mechanics are off. Trust the people that fucking play the game for more than fucking 10 hours a day. Yep. You they need to cut the shit. Yep. They really it's do. crazy. It's crazy. Absolutely nuts, bro. I, I just I couldn't even when he he blamed the game. I was like, you blame the gamers, it's our fault. You expect too much. <laughs> He said, you guys expect too much. You expect too much from us. You charging me $130 and not by, giving me nothing. By the by the way, I just I just want to uh I just want to also say something. Skull and Bones, this was the game that came out in February. Do you do you did anybody want to take a guess how much how long this game was in development for before it came out? Anybody want to guess? Want, want to fathom a guess? Six years. This game was in development for a decade. A decade at you. And you tell me on the launch day it fucked up. It fucked up on launch day. Well, first of all, if, <laughs> a if, decade. This bitch was this in development shit, since 2014. If this shit was. If this shit took <laughs> 10 years. Number one, they should never released it because it's already out of fucking date. Let's just let's just say that. Probably. That means that means that you built you built infrastructure and data that was outdated. You did not update it because you invested money and you didn't want to admit that you fucked up. And you know what I'm saying? And you just kept building on a bad foundation. So is it any wonder? Nope. Do you do you know what do you know do you, do you realize what the technology jump is over a 10 year over period? Over 10 years technology jump is insane. Think about what <laughs> phone you had in 2014 compared uh -huh. to the phone that you have now. Yeah. And that's what we're talking about. Dude, yep. I'm scared for fucking um, uh, what's that game that's fucking taking forever to come out? Um, GTA Six, GTA, yeah. Nah, that's GTA will be GTA will be fine. Yo, GTA will be fine. I'm not worried about Grand Theft Auto because I know Rockstar makes a quality game. They have history of making quality games that take a long time. Shit. Same shit we spoke about when we spoke about Santa Monica the other day. Santa Monica oh, has yeah. they they make good games. Right, right. Until until they prove me otherwise, I'm gonna keep buying them. Right, that's it. <laughs> but as soon as Ubisoft, I'm fucking done. I'm that's, done. I'm done. Yo, I can't do that it. That fucking studio is done. That, that CEO Cooked. is fucking out. Cooked. He's Dude, done so, bro. 75 fucking point six percent. In five years. In five years, their stock fell 75.6%. Yep. Fuck. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. 
Yo. And I think it and I think it might be lower than this now because this is from early 2024, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, so yeah, yeah, Cooked. you 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 have that your head on your head because you're about to look for a new fucking job. <laughs> he's about to, like, he's, Polar said my bad guys, this is my fault. I knew it was you all along, Polar. <laughs> Glitching the games. <laughs> Aaron is about to become the CEO of Ubisoft. I no, I don't want that job. <laughs> Dude, come on, man! I want that job. We Fuck have the man, man cave section of the fucking of the of the movies on. We get to play all the fucking video job. games we want. Shit! Ranting Aaron is one of your best variants. I agree. I agree. I like ranting Aaron. He's all right. Drunk, drunk Aaron's a little better, to be honest with you. But that's besides the point. Yeah, that's a cool dude. <laughs> that's a cool dude. Uh, Revenge of the Sith was the last Star Wars game I played and owned many, many moons ago. Yeah, um, Star Wars Outlaws was so bad. I think it currently it has a current player count of like less than 500 Damn. so it, it just it's just fucking it's reality man oh uh, man anyway uh yeah <laughs> uv's love see what you did you made ranting iron so mad he won't buy assassin's creed shadows and give us gameplay nope i won't i'm not i'm not buying it i'm not buying that game no i refuse and it's a shame because i actually was looking forward to playing as as yasuke as well i was looking forward to that but i, I i'm not giving them my money I refuse. I'm not doing it. What if so. they give you a statue, bro? No, I don't want a statue. I, 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 want, I want Ubisoft to fucking not suck. That's what I want. <laughs> it's my fault. You. It's my fault you make a shit product. Okay. It's not, my fuck, it's, not, <laughs> it's not my fucking fault. There's only so many times I'm going to give you my money before, before I, I just stop. Case in point, Sony. I haven't been to see a Sony movie since Morbius. It's not changing anytime soon. Done giving you my money. Ubisoft, you're on the list. <laughs> that's it I, I, once you're on the list you ain't getting off that's it <laughs> uh-huh yeah. yeah what we told you it's official yeah, yeah. yeah. non-stop 24 7 3, 6.